What's up, beautiful people? This is your boy, Josh Martin, And today, I have some incredible news to show you, to tell you, really. Um, I just got back from work at... Oh, sorry. Okay. So, the news is this. A friend of mine, Jonathan Jacobs, he posted a, a, a website on my page last night, late last night. And I saw it looking at it. And I couldn't believe it. It was this new camera called The Craft. And this thing is a module camera. It comes in two flavors, HD and 4K. Now the closest thing that we have right now to modular cameras is the Red Epic and what it can do. So with the Red, you have, you know, the brain and then you can attach the, you know, the battery pack, the arm, the screen, any additional things to that and then you start building it out. With the Craft camera, this thing has multiple parts that have pins, of course, that you know you connect it with. But the thing that's really special about this camera right now is the price. This thing is only going for under a little under three thousand dollars. Like that is incredible. It has two flavors. The the uh, for sensor size it has two flavors. It has um, a super 16 millimeter and a super uh, 35 millimeter for the for the 4K. The 16 is in the HD and then the 4K has a 35 millimeter. So it comes in three packages, the studio, and it has the HD, which is a little bit larger. And then you have the cinema camera, the cinema, the cinema package, which has all the parts that you need. But for the HD, it's only for going for about, I think, like $1,900. And then the 4K version is going for uh, 28, a little over 2800 I'm just like, literally, I'm just going over the top of my head. I've been trying to read all the blogs about it. There's not a lot of information about it. There's not even, the thing, okay, the thing you have to realize as well, there's not a lot of, uh, there's no actually, there's no uh, test footage of what it looks like. So there's nothing to compare it to right now. They just released the pre-orders, I think this week or maybe yesterday, but they released the pre-orders to drop like $500 down and it'll start shipping out in December. So, I'm, I mean, I'm excited for this camera. It, they took, they try to take this next step of what it means to have a modular camera uh, system. Um, the things that I am worried about are, of course, the you know we don't know what it looks like, we don't know how it handles the light, what's the dynamic range, uh, what's the weight of the camera of all these parts. It looks solid. Like right now, I, I'm a, actually I'm gonna link the the video in the description. This is gonna be just the roughest update ever. Yeah, uh, as you can see, like in this render right now, it's just a render, it's not in real life yet, so we have no idea what it looks like. The, the dimensions are listed on the website. Um, I'll link that in the description below. So, uh, yeah, I'm just like buzzed because this is, this is, I'm excited for it, but I'm scared for it at the same time. Because honestly, I will pick this camera up. This is something like, holy, that was weird. Did somebody throw a rock at my window? Like, what was I saying? Um, the fact that this is a module camera, modular, man, I can't even say that word, modular camera, um, I will pick it up because this, this is like a totally different brand, totally different niche, but I will only pick it up, one, if I have the money, two, if it's actually like a super contender to all the brands that are out there right now. Like if this camera can, can go against a red or come close to a red or even be like a C300 type style camera, I will pick it up just because of the price point. Um, and then, and then, because I mean, all those add-ons, the add-ons are not that expensive either. So this camera could, it, like, if it's built really well, could last you for a, a while. And all you have to really do is switch out the sensor when it's when they have a new update. Yeah, the craft camera, the craft camera. That's what it's called. And like, I'm gonna stay on tabs with this. This is not gonna be the only update about this. I'm really excited for this camera. But yeah, my concerns, like I said before, it's like we don't know what the picture looks like. Um, right now, it just says it, it, it shoots in um, camera DNG and um, ProRes, but we don't know what flavor of ProRes. Like, we don't know all, so many questions that these fil all us filmmakers are, are having. But I mean, they're not gonna they're not gonna give anything to us until like when they're ready. Um, they did post out that they will release um, footage and they will release like more specs about the camera later on this summer. So I mean, I'm gonna stay tuned. Thanks again, Jonathan. That was a good look. Thank you for this content. Thank you for sharing with me. Um, yeah, and I, I just want to share with you tech heads, man. This is this is pretty exciting. So we'll see where this was just going to head. <laughs> yeah, this was a rough, rough take. I'm hungry now.